So, this video there, I'm collecting the two points. Take it. Take it. My midwife. I mm, want that with you. I was very calm. You know. <laughs> okay, you know. Did I scream? See, you were good. No, did I scream? Oh, you were did not, I you, cry? You didn't scream, but you were not as calm as you are. You are what about. did I do? See, the lady almost broke my chest in you know, two weeks after that. I was still feeling the pain. The way she held my tie at some point, I thought they was, the lady was going to snap my boots. Like, hey, if, if, if she was like that strong, like by now, I'll be using wheelchair. <laughs> I think of you, my heart beats with every thought of you. You're the one I can let go in your Hey guys, hey fam. Hello, hello. Hi lovers, hi chicos. Hello. <laughs> Welcome back to this amazing family. Yep. It is your amazing couple, K and Dex. And in today, are they? K yeah, yeah. and Dex. Okay. So, and in today's. Ah. What? In today's video, mm. it's going to be a birth and labor story time. Okay. So this video there, I'm collecting the two points. Take it. Take it. My midwife. <laughs> okay guys, so we'll just get right into the video. So this time round, we're able to record the whole session, but it cannot be posted because it's very, very private. You know, you see how it is when you're giving birth, like you're naked, not almost naked, you're naked, so we cannot post it. We can only tell you about it, okay? Do us when you the story with us. So, I was pregnant, as you know, in our previous video, we have a baby already. And I was supposed to go for antenatal on Wednesday. So, to me, I have um, two more weeks to go to get to my 40 weeks, actually. That's what I was thinking. So, I just told my husband that. I always want to give birth on the 39th week. So because of that, this is 38 weeks. I'm not going for until later. I'll go next week. He tried to convince me. My stubborn self said, no, I won't go. He tried his possible best and later I agreed to just go for that later. But I've been going for Antinata with a particular friend. Okay. So when I told her that I didn't want to go this particular day, she was like, oh, I want to go in the school too. Let's go. We met and then we were about going. But before we were going, I started to feel some pains in my thigh and all of that. So I was misbehaving like I'm now Atlanta and blah, blah, blah. I was misbehaving then. And um, my husband was supposed to go for a program in that week or the following week. So I just told him that if you may see... Sunday. Okay, the Sunday. The Wednesday that I'm talking of, the Sunday. Yeah, that's true. So I told him that if you misbehave, I'll give birth to you. So that you go for the program. We just brushed it off. He went to work. I went for later with my friend. When we got there, you see when it's a government hospital, you have to go very early because you're not going to pack your books, wait for the people to come around 9 o'clock before they start seeing many people. But because it's a private hospital, this time I, I went to a private hospital. It was quite free, so I decided to go around 12 o'clock. When we got there, they took my book and then they told me to go and sleep on the machine. I don't know the name of the machine. I slept on it and they placed so something. I thought you were coming to see yourself here right Well, I was going to. To go and mention something. Me, I don't want to see the community will come and lash you. Me, I don't know the name of the thing. So, they will put something up. around your navel, okay? And they will just be monitoring for like 15 minutes. So, that will tell your, your baby's heartbeat and the movement, contractions, and a whole lot of things. So we did that for 15 minutes after that. They asked me to go and see the doctor. But when they took my book to the doctor, the doctor was like, she's not supposed to see me. I'm supposed to see a specialist. I'm like, what's wrong with me? They said, oh, because of my time, I need to just see a specialist. Okay. So I went to the man's office. No, before that, they were not calling. And the lady I went with, she's also pregnant, heavily pregnant, just like me. But I was, I think, just two weeks ahead of her. So she started feeling something. She wanted to go. And then my Atlanta thing was still there, so I also wanted to go. I just went to see the receptionist. I told them that, oh, I'm feeling tired, so I want to just go. I'll come next week. As soon as the specialist heard that, he came out of his office and asked me to come in. When I went, he just asked me to sleep on the bed. The man is really thick and tall. 
So you can imagine the palms he's working with on this head. He asked me to sleep. He wanted to put his hand there. Come and see sleeping. I said no. The hand where? There, under. Which one is there under? Please explain it to YouTube. You are explain to you. you you tell us what what could it be? I don't know. <laughs> No, 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 just tell them that. Okay, going. so when you're going to, you're almost due. The doctor will put his fingers in your VJJ to see whether you're dilating or your cervix is becoming soft and all of that, just so they know that labor is almost around the corner or you're even in labor without your knowledge, okay? So the man wanted to do that. When he placed the hand there, as soon as I saw the hand coming, you know, I started shaking. He tried putting the aesthetic screen. He said, You let me. I said, Yes. Then he said, Okay. He stopped. Then he took my record, the one I was talking of when I was sleeping on the machine. And they checked the thing. Then the man screamed, Hey, you are contracting every minute. I'm like, No. He said, It's here. The machine says that you are contracting. You are admitted. Then my face changed. Then I called my husband that this is what they are saying. I'm even shaking. Like, I was shaking. I don't know why. So he, came, he just closed and then came to the hospital. So they gave me a room and I told them that the truth is I'm not packed because that week, in fact that Wednesday, I was thinking of having a photo shoot. So please, you cannot admit me. Plus I've not packed my stuff. And they wrote my book that I said I want to go home and go and pack. Initially they wanted me to let my husband pack but I said no because I was thinking that they just want to chop my money by saying that I'm in labor because you see that private hospital will be expensive and the more you sleep there, the more the money goes up. So I didn't want to. So when my husband came, we just left. He didn't come with a car. That time our car battery was stolen. So we were not driving at, as at that time. Then we went to pick Chocho. So they wrote in the book that we should get to the hospital by 8 p.m. We should go and pack and come back by 8 p.m. Then we just left. And then we went to pick our Chocho. It was difficult to get Chocho around that area like it was around four o'clock people are closed from work and all of this it was quite difficult to get a car then we got a car what happened we got, did we get the car that early we no took no a, we, we, got, we took a little worker, little little worker. Little. and then we dropped up at um, barrier barrier to buy to buy brookina to chop ain't no pregnant woman likes a brookina so we have to buy brookina this is with me oh you, you know you know uh, me then can we, we throw it away at a point because it, Nothing. I kept it in the freezer for a long time. But when we were coming in, eh, as soon as there was sun, there was sun, sun in the I mean, road side, they would be expensive. Anyway. But the whole thing is, we picked um, the car at around airport area. And then when we go to Atomic, the, you see Atomic Junction, the over our head has this bring, bring, bring thing. Hey, now I was feeling the contractions. Before when they said it, I was like, Masa, which contract? I'm not, I can't feel it. Then we came back home to pack. So when we were coming, I called a sister to come and help me pack because I had not packed anything. So he helped my husband to pack and I went to take a shower. But from what I hear, if you're in labor and you take a cold bath, it stops because your baby becomes so relaxed. But mine didn't stop. And then I wanted to poop. I was in the washroom and this one coming up. Make sure you don't poop my baby in the toilet. What's that? You let me be free to poop. Want to drop the child in the toilet. Uh, why? Why? <laughs> Before, by the time we remove you, I was drunk the toilet water. <laughs> Would the baby be going for to understand why it's going for <laughs> Oh, but it, it wasn't the labor poo It was, I wanted to poo because the first time they just won, I just over poo Like every small thing, the poo is coming out. So I just wanted to clear my thing, okay. Nothing, so, but he thought that it was the labor poo So small time, come and know, hey, I'll be not, I didn't want to push. So I was waiting for the thing to come to that area before it will fall. I didn't want to push, but he didn't understand. He felt so much chair up. By the way, you are, you are doing the TV, you are there for a time, so I, I need to understand if everything is correct <laughs> before you go and you go and drop something somewhere. No, I didn't want to push because you might not know. I just wanted the people to come out all by itself, so that's why I kept it away. Then after taking a shower, they were packing. See, I was just wearing panty. I was going up, down. When they see something, I can't even laugh. But when the pain goes down, I come and misbehave. But they go to a point, I wanted to remove the pants. Then when we were coming, because we didn't have a car at that time, we called a friend in church. And the guy was getting married that same week. No, I gave birth the first level. So the following week. So he was making some rounds. We called him and we told him that we need his, we need him to pick us up by 7.30. So 
so he said okay he's still at 37 and blah 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 so as we were doing that around six o'clock i told my husband that hmm, the way the thing is looking there i'm not sure 7 30 i can wait let's call another person so we called another person in church for him the person was at madina the person just rushed to our place and he, he got around 6 30. he packed everything and then we just went into the car oh my god that you i was very calm you know okay you know did i scream See, you have a good no did i scream Oh, you were, did I you, cry? You didn't scream, but you were not as calm as you are, you are saying that. What did I do? See, the lady almost broke my chest in you know, <laughs> two weeks after that. I was still feeling the pain. The way she held my tie at some point, I thought they was, the lady was going to snap my boots. Like, hey, if, if, if she was like that strong, like by now, I'll be using wheelchair. <laughs> I'll be using wheelchair, but by the grace of God, my bones are strong. I am fit. The, the chest pain is gone. Somebody can hold somebody's chest like this and squeeze her eyes like you want to squeeze nectar after. <laughs> but that thing too I'm is, juicy. Is, is flesh and blood. I'm but juicy. I'm a trafficker. But you know, I understood that it was it was the pain. So at the point the driver had to now go full Takashi mode. And it was not it was not even a, a, a big car or something. This matters. Matis car. So you you can imagine a matters doing baby Takashi on oh something. <laughs> I remember we got around a uh, uh, shashi. Somebody had to, in the lady we were going, she had to scream out of the car, Give way, give way, give way. She had this heavy voice, that car. Like, give way, give way. Everybody started making me small stuff. Then we got to the hospital. We got to the hospital around 6.58. Do you know that when the lady was screaming, Give way, one of the doctors was also in traffic and he gave way. So when they got to the hospital, it was 6.58. They asked that I just go inside so that they check whether I'm dilated or something. The nurses were like, oh, when they saw the way the thing was saying that I was contracting a rape minute, they knew that I was going to come back. They were saying, I'm going to do photo shoot. I'm going to do that. Yeah, she has branded her name over there at the hospital. When the nurses see her, they say, hey, photo, photo shoot. shoot. <laughs> Everybody thinks her name is photo shoot now because she said that instead of coming to deliver, she's going to do photo shoot. Mm. So they checked. When they really checked, she was like, hey, seven centimeters. Then the lady because she got angry at a point. I used my leg to hit her abdomen because the way she was doing it, it was just too much. She was no her and did do. The unknown part the night was painful, I don't know why. So she checked for me and then they just put in my room check. And then they just went up. As soon as we got there, the ladies who were going to help me deliver also came that ah, they also need to check. I said, no, they said they also want to know, like for themselves, they just want to know. They also came to put their hand there. That one cry, I was screaming, but yes, wasn't that painful like the man down there. So they checked. When they checked, now nah, I realized blood was just gushing out. And then my husband called them that blood is coming in. They said, oh, they, they just The blood time. started from the first lady downstairs. Downstairs, yeah, yeah. So, like, they, they took me to the lab. When we were going in, the pain was so intense, I had to stretch my leg. They couldn't push me into the room. I stretched my leg and it me rip. Put the leg, you put the leg on the doorpost. <laughs> They were pushing one thing more. You don't want to go and deliver your own. You don't want the baby to come. You want that way they can deliver it. Do you want them to deliver at the door? You think it's easy? I stretch my leg. Hey. When I stretch it, it was easy. Then they you just to deliver. You don't want to remove the baby at the door post. Charlie? You have to find a way to push the lady inside. Then turn the things and push. Hey God, then they took me in. And then they were like, oh, lie down. They said lie down. I was now sitting on the baby's head. Then my husband started. Wait, I'll do you no, no, you just go back. No, 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 wait, but that thing they say lie down. You are sitting. <laughs> you think it's my easy? Friend. You, are, you are sitting, you are sitting. You are sitting on the bed. The lie down, oh, but the lie down you did. Before. It was, it was the, the starting that, I ah, wasn't. When the thing was coming on, then, oh, but now raise the, the back like this. Hey, my friend. At the point, I had to put it down. I said, hey, you are sitting on your head. It's not easy. Uh, and yeah, but, uh, but how? Oh, it, oh, it, was, it was good, but the whole thing is in JJ's time, man, the push was so easy and the contractions were super painful. By this time, the contractions were not so painful like the push. I don't know, probably because the first one, the tear, they were also coming out because of that, so it was very, very painful. So the baby came out 7:28, 30 minutes after we got to the hospital, the baby was out, and to the glory of God, we were both healthy and everything was fine. But they, they put something under my tongue and then they injected my thigh. 
Okay. Yeah. Just in the gift by some tea. Okay. I think. So that I can clot the blood? Yeah, yeah, don't lose that. Okay. And because of that, I started shivering. Like serious ones. I couldn't even take the baby for a while. Was, the, the, the shivering, she said it was because of the pills. Mm -hmm. Under my tongue. Yeah. In the suppository. The same, it was the same pill, I think. Mm -hmm. So they put some in your tongue, they put some in the. Okay. All of that. So I, I think it was four food. pills. They were supposed to give you all four, but one fell. So okay. they give you three or something. Oh, okay. Yeah. So I was just, I was just there, and then I started shivering. They brought blankets and everything. And later they asked me what I wanted to eat. I said I want abuchi and malt. They did party for me. That's abuchi and malt. The the area the before you can get abuchi, you have to travel like <laughs> miles <laughs> to get something like that. But to the glory of God, your boss brought it. So we're happy and bought plenty and even brought jollof for the the sister that went with us and my husband and everything. So it was it was party mode activated. It was nice. I, mean, I couldn't even eat. It was nice. I did the following morning. So after that, we were just the following morning, right? Was it the following morning? Yeah, yes, around, yes, 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 yes. Yeah, around 11. So we didn't even spend a day in the hospital to the glory of God. Then we just came home. Yeah. But you see, when, when, when you enter the neighborhood, you understand the miracle of life. Man, let, let me philosophize a little. <laughs> Continue. Yeah. So there, there's so much that goes on there. and. I think that I think that we should we should respect people who go there and come. It's it's not it's not guaranteed that you will come, come like like that. It's probably you even go and then by the time you come, a little somebody's mistake can cause a, a major problem for you. Yeah. Somebody's small me. mistake, a minor thing can cause a major problem for you that you it will take God to come out of. So I believe that if if somebody has gone and come back, it's it's not something you can downplay then again appreciate people appreciate especially the married men appreciate your wives appreciate your wives it's, my wife has brought two people into this world two souls appreciate her for two souls god bless you god bless you god bless you god bless you i have to buy you a party in time in time, in time. I, I know that I cannot buy you Bugatti, but you buy Bugatti and Bugatti. Amen, amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. So that's, that's how it turned out. And to the glory of God, we have a really, really beautiful son. And we yeah, appreciate God for his miracle. Because how can he just go for antenatal and give birth the next two, three hours? You know, it's just God. Oh, so he was speak. just entirely fit the whole time. Yeah. And two seconds, I say, hey, mother. But when we went and we came back, I told my mother, I now believe doctors. Because when he told me that I was going to be in the world, like, I'm going to stand here. But to the glory of God, it was true and all of that. So, if you've been able to watch this far, to be end it now, because of faith, they don't want to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's definitely, if you've been able to watch this far, we thank you so much for yeah, your really uh, staying. God bless you. Please like this video, subscribe, share. I mean, help us. Let someone else also see this one. But then again, if you have a labor story that you think you want to share with us, eh, put it in the comment section. I, I I'd like to read it. I'd like to see how you feel. The last time we posted a video, we talked about uh, emergency contraceptives. Somebody brought their comment that they also feel it is uh, it is more like an abortion when they. When you take emergency contraceptives, but anyway, let, let us also know what you think in the comment section. I mean, uh, if you've had a labor story similar to this, or uh, one that we need to praise God for with you, you know, let us know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Always was a miracle to us because the God you didn't know then that evening you're going to have a baby, but God has been good and is still good to us. Mm. So yeah. So until the next video. Adios. Bye bye. Runs, I find my home, love, sweet love.